another video. As always, my name's Jasper, and what we're gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be showing you how to set up an AI cold caller for your for real estate agents or even branches. Um, this is just how to set it up for the real estate industry. So what we've got here is Invoke AI, and they have their AI voice agents platform. Now you can find a link to the platform in the description or the comment section. You can sign up for a free trial where you'll be able to test it out and go over everything that we do in this video. So um, yeah, you can sign up there. Once you have, you'll see an area like you do now once you're logged in. And what you're gonna have to do is come across the settings and get your plan, uh, so that will be on the trial and then you've got to set up your keys. So we're gonna use the Twilio SID and API keys. These are for you to be able to connect to a phone number, so you need a Twilio account. Then you have your OpenAI key. Now this is for the AI's brain, so it actually understands and able to talk. Then you have Eleven Labs. Eleven Labs is the actual voice model, so that's used for the voice. Um, you'll be able to choose whatever voices you want and clone your own if you'd like, or anybody else. You then have DeepGram. DeepGram is for the translation. It translates the speech to text so that the OpenAI understands. Now with all these connected, you are then able to actually make AI-based platform, um, sorry, AI-based calls. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come across to our AI agents. Now this is the last test one I did. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say create a new agent. And all we're gonna do for now is give it a name, whether it's an outbound agent or an inbound agent. Um, the phone number that it's connected to, because you'll have a Twilio phone number that it will use, and the Eleven Labs voice ID. By default, you get this default voice ID, um, but you can select your own um, now or later. So let's give it a name. Let's call it a real estate caller. And we're going to leave it as outbound, so it's going to make outbound calls. And for the number, we'll just put a demo number for now and go create. Now, if we come across to the edit area, we can now edit the further details of our AI agent. Now, as you can see, we've got the name, the type again, the phone number, the 11 labs ID, its operating days, and its successful event type. Now, we've explained these ones. Now, let's jump into these new uh, variables we've got here. So we've got operating days. So these are the days that it can call between. So let's say between Monday to Friday, or if you're making weekend calls, you could go Saturday to Sunday. And these are the times as well, so the times that it can make calls, so let's say between 9 to 5. We then have the successful event. Now this is what you want it to do. Is it booking an appointment? Is it providing information? Um, it's really about what looks successful um, after a call. So you can set it to, let's say, appointment, or interested in an offer, or information provided. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come across the script and personalization. Now you're going to see we've got the system prompt, the first message, and the script. You can put in variable details in either of them. This is so you can use the contact that's being called first name, last name, company name, email, or phone um, throughout your system prompt or script. Now if we come across, I've got a pre-written script here. So for our system prompt, we've put you are a friendly and professional AI assistant calling on behalf of a real estate agent. Your goal is to um, is to be polite, uh, politely introduce yourself, see if the homeowner is interested in selling or buying property, and offer them to connect with a human um, agent free consultation. Uh, be courteous, never pushy, and thank them. So let's copy that nice system simple uh, system prompt. And then we've got the first message. So it's gonna say, hi, I'm Jane, an AI assistant, how are you? Okay, and now we've got our actual core script. So in this one, it's called Ava. So let's just change the name from Jane to Ava. Great. Now if we go, hi, this is Ava, an AI assistant calling on behalf of Jane Smith at Smith Realty. I'm reaching out to see if you uh, might be considering selling your home or buying a new property in the next few months. If yes, so that's for the um, AI agent to know. If they say yes, that's excellent. I'd like to connect you with John for a free no obligation consult um, consultation. Uh, would you like me to book a time that works for you? And then if it's a no, it knows to say not a problem and if the situation changes to get in touch. So we're gonna copy that, nice simple script, and we'll put it here in the script area. And then we're gonna say save changes. So now that it's got its script, its first message, um, and the system prompt, and then we have advanced settings. So you don't have to do anything here, but for those people that want to make further modifications, they can. So they can select the model for the 11 labs, um, their deep gram, the open AI models, and token sizes, as well as temperatures. So you can edit them further to make it right for your situation. But for most people, this would be the perfect setup. So now that we've got all our details there, we actually got our AI agent is ready. So it's called the real estate caller. 
So next we would actually need a contact. So we've got our demo one I made in the past, but what we can do is we can either go create a contact or upload by CSV. To upload by CSV, it means you can upload a bulk of your contacts all at once, and these are the headers that you'll put in your CSV, so you can upload lots of contacts. But in this case, we'll create a new one, and we'll say it's called Jane Smith. No company, let's give it a fake number like that. Go jane at example.com, and we'll just say nothing for here. Oh, my bad, sorry. And we'll say nothing. Then we go create. So now we've got our contact Jane that has been added in. She hasn't been called before and she's not scheduled. So what we want to do is we want to schedule our first call. So we'll, go, we'll select Jane. Oh, actually, we don't have to go that way. You can go two ways. If you wanted to, let's say, uh, schedule a, bu a bunch of people at once, you can select multiple people, go schedule, and select your agent. But in this case, what we're going to do is we are going to just do Jane. So we'll say schedule, choose our agent, what is the real estate caller. Um, you can set a specific time and day for the call, but you don't have to. If you just go schedule, it's going to do the call when it's next available. Now, it does a call every minute, um, so there's 10 calls every one minute, and um, refreshes all on its own. So if there's anything scheduled in here that doesn't have a set time and day, it will call that if it's available and the agent allows so within their operating times. So if I go schedule, you'll see that it's now sitting in here, and we can remove it, just like that. Now, if it stayed in there within a, a minute or less, that call would go out and go out to Jane. You would then come across to your call logs, and in your call logs, you'll be able to manage the trans, um, the transcript. You'll be able to see the, um, hit, listen to the recording, see all the call details, the status, the result, whether it was a successful call, a voicemail, um, if they're interested or not. You also got your events. Um, events allow you to see uh, if there's something to do after the call. So let's say if it was a booking and you didn't have a calendar set up for the system, you would know to make a booking because it'll be in the events here. Or if they ask for a callback, it would pop up in the events so you know to make a callback to that person. Um, you can also, also come into integrations and this is where you can integrate your calendars for cal.com. This allows you to make automatic, to make the bookings on your behalf. Um, so you don't have to do anything with the booking calendar, it can book it all on its own. Uh, you can also come into the team area where you can add extra team members to it so they can use the platform as well or using the same system. There's the support area here where you can watch uh, videos on how to set up all the accounts for let's say Twilio, OpenAI, Deepgram, as well as create agents. But this is um, basically the most simple uh, AI calling platform I've ever used is extremely easy for everyone we can get set up and going within a day really and have your own AI caller for outbound or inbound calls but thanks for watching the video everyone I look forward to seeing you in the next one don't forget to subscribe and if you've got any questions don't hesitate to reach out thank you